So, Jace, a dramatic game again here, but we got three points. What are your thoughts on that win overall? Thoughts, well, obviously, I thought, to be honest, though, overall, I thought it was a good performance. Um, really disappointing, again, to concede such an early goal and, and, and from a set play, which, you know, we should be better on when we look at the players we got within the team. Um, but I think, you know, that didn't deter us. I think first half, even even though we weren't in trailing 1-0, we, uh, we had some good chances and, and could have been back on level or, or even in, ahead. But, uh, you know, the, the players have shown a lot of, cra- a lot of um, courage and a lot of bravery. So, you know, fair play to them. They've come back from, from being behind again. Um, but we've got to stop conceding in early goals that's, that's, what, that's what's come out of today really because other than that I thought it was a very good performance Yeah obviously disappointment after just four or five minutes it was again uh, but like you mentioned that the character has been on show all season perhaps we've been unlucky to think that was deserved today Yeah as I say I, I, I think the, the fact that we've come back from a goal down again you know we, we you look at players and you look at what they're about and and players you know this year we've come back from three goals last Saturday we've come back from two goals against Woking and we've come back from one goal against a good side today but you know we, we can't let that detract from the positives that there are as well you know we, we, yes we've got to sort that out we've got to sort that out and stop conceding goals but um, but there's a lot of good attacking play and I thought from back to front we defended really well I thought we we had we had a bit of a game plan and, and we pressed them quite high um, we won the ball back quite a lot in, in, in their half and, uh, and and I think you know it was a good performance and I think we were well worthy of the win yeah, the, the only other negative of the first half, I think, was probably Tom Broadbent coming off. Have you got any update early on of him? Very early, but I think it's a recurrence of his, of his knee injury. Um, hopefully it's not as bad as it was before, but um, it's certainly, you know, Tom's had a bit of a tough week, really. We obviously didn't sort of plan for a, a Tuesday trip away at, um, at Folkestone, but uh, he's, he's had to play Saturday, Tuesday, and now Saturday again, which has probably taken its toll on Tom. So unfortunate circumstances, but we hope it's not too, too, too bad, and hopefully he'll be back soon. But um, again, fair play to the lads that were out on the pitch you know we've changed the shape when Tom's gone off and, and they've reacted and responded really well um, and, and the game plan didn't change we, I thought we, we, we took the game to them and, and, and as I say the, the energy and the enthusiasm to try and win the ball back was, was very good Yeah and um, like I said fantastic second half as well straight out of the blocks was it satisfying to score from a set piece as well after obviously conceding one in the first half? Yeah of course it was and we said at half time you know we had first contact on probably four or five set pieces in the first half but we didn't quite get on target I think it was the first, maybe the second set piece that went in the box and, and Dutchies attacked it really well, got across his man at the front and, uh, and managed to put it in the corner. So, you know, it's, it's, it's pleasing to score any type of goal, but um, credit to Dutchie and, and as I say, I'm, I'm really, really pleased for him because, uh, you know, he come on and, and I thought he, he really helped the midfield and allowed them to go and press and get after the ball when he came on. Um, and then Tom Whelan steps up and scores a free kick, which, which was fantastic. I've seen the, a video from behind the goal, which it is literally right in the top corner. So fantastic, to, you know, fantastic two goals, really. Um, goals that, that, that we deserved, I think, and, and, and balance of, of, of the open play. Um, and if we'd have scored one or two more, I don't think there could have been too many complaints. Yeah, like you mentioned just there, the winning goal from Tom Whelan was a, a touch of class, and he's shown that, hasn't he, since he's come in this year? Tom's been great. We, we knew what we were signing when we were signing Tom. We've got a good player that wants to, wants to get forward and wants to score goals. You know, apart from his goal in the FA Cup, I think well, they've all been set pieces, but he's going to get goals from midfield. He wants to get in the box. He goes past the front men. Um, he's got good qualities in and around the penalty box where he, he's going to shoot with, with, you know, and hit the target consistently. And, and uh, he's a real good signing for us. And, you know, I've known Tom for a few years and knew, knew what we were getting. And, and the fans, I think, are appreciating what he's given us as well. Yeah, now you mentioned earlier the the pressing that we showed all the way through the game. How satisfying was it to see that right until the end? Because they, you know, kind of came into it for the final few moments, but we yeah. held firm. Yeah, I, th- I think especially when you consider that we played 120 minutes on Tuesday, what we've asked the lads to do today was going to be tough. And and you know, Strevs, the, the gaffers, he's he's highlighted before the game that it's going to be, you know, there's going to be subs that are going to be really vital to today's performance, and and um, and they come on and took the took the baton really from the players that, that come off the pitch and 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 kept us going on, on the front foot and and say we won the ball back I think we pressed and and forced him into mistakes Um, last few minutes you know when it's only one goal in it it's always going to be a little bit where where you're dropping a little bit deeper but again you know I I felt the the energy that the midfield and the front men showed and 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 certainly sort of the way we finished the game with the back four um, we kept them at bay a little bit really and uh, and and managed the game quite well yeah and uh, lastly it's a a quick turnaround to Tuesday Chesterfield that's going to be a tough test but is this a good chance to build momentum now with this win yeah, I think you know there's been a little bit of frustration in the last few weeks with, with some of the sort of spells in games that we've had, but we've we've actually not not too bad a run in terms of results and and 
Uh, we, we now go to a side that are, are, that are flying high at the top end of the table and it's going to be an extremely tough game. So, you know, again, as the gaffer highlighted on, on Tuesday, they've got to rest and recover now, ready to um, come in Monday and, and, and we'll have a game plan to try to go to Chesterfield and, and get the three points. But, um, but it's now down to the players to make sure they enjoy their weekend, but they do the right things between now and, and Monday and Tuesday um, to, to get themselves ready to go.